Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's Women in Astronomy, we are going to talk about Mary Somerville and her contributions to science and astronomy. So she lived from 1780 to 1872 and was actually the daughter of Vice Admiral William Fairfax. And she was educated and learned writing and mathematics early on and actually taught herself Latin to be able to read many of the texts that were needed. In terms of her scientific work, she is known for translating and expanding on Laplace's work. And that was the Mécanique Celeste. And that work was then published in 1831, used, converting it from all algebra into a common language to be better understandable. And this became the standard textbook at Cambridge for the celestial mechanics for 50 years. Now, now she also did work on another book, which was on the connection of the physical sciences. So that was another one that was written by her. And in 1842, this was discussing discrepancies in the orbit of Uranus. Now Uranus was discovered in the late 1700s. And trying to understand its orbit was important for our understanding of Newtonian physics. How could Newton's work explain the orbit of this new planet? And since there were some discrepancies, this would eventually lead to the discovery of the planet Neptune, another planet out there that was unknown at the time, causing variations in the orbit that would not have been uh, explained otherwise. Now she published Physical Geography in 1848, and then a work on molecular and microscopic science in 1869, including diagrams such as the one that we see here. She did die at the age of 91. And several years before her death, she was actually the very first signatory on John Stuart Mill's petition for female suffrage. So while that was not successful, she was the one who was she was so well known and prominent in the in the area that she was the first to sign this. And we have one of her signatures here on the contribution to the Society for Women's Suffrage and giving women the right to be able to vote in England. So let's go ahead and summarize a little about what we've covered here. So first of all, we mentioned that she was the daughter of Vice Admiral William Fairfax. And one of her biggest works was to translate and expand upon one of Laplace's works to produce what became the standard textbook at Cambridge for half a century. She also did work on the discrepancies in the orbit of Uranus, which had recently been discovered, which eventually led to the discovery of Neptune. So that concludes this discussion of Mary Somerville. We'll be back again next week to discuss another woman in astronomy. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.